Hi everyone, my name is Xu Guo. This presentation introduces a technique for improving the sample efficiency of prompt tuning with domain adaptation. This is a collaboration work with Bo Yangli and Han Yu. Prompt tuning is a parameter-efficient method for adapting large-scale pre-trained language models to downstream tasks. Suppose we have three different tasks, A, B, and C, that we want to adapt to. Under full model fine-tuning, we must train three different models, each with 11 billion of parameters, and we have to decide how to allocate resources to the three different models based on computational load, which creates a lot of complexity. With prompt tuning, however, we only need to deploy one model, and we can specialize the model to different tasks by switching the prompt in the input. That simplifies the deployment in the real world. The prompt that we tune is about 0.001% of the large model, so that we only need very little additional storage. However, there is a problem with prompt tuning. It requires a lot of training data. Under few short learning settings, it lags far behind full model tuning, as shown in the diagram. In other words, the effectiveness of prompt tuning is crucially dependent on sufficient labeled training data. Our experiments confirm the same finding, which is that prompt tuning underperforms full model tuning under the fuchsia setting, and is often more sensitive to random seed selection. In the diagram, the black bars indicate the standard deviation, and you can see the standard deviation of prompt tuning is often larger than full model tuning, even though we tune far fewer parameters. Our research question is, how to improve the sample efficiency of prompt tuning, particularly for few-shot or zero-shot learning. In this paper, we provide a solution based on domain adaptation by training soft prompt using labeled data from the source domain and unlabeled data from the target domain so that we can transfer the learned soft prompt to the target domain. We start by introducing the basic intuitions behind our approach. We have two classes and we want to train a neural network to classify them, it may give us a smooth decision boundary or a zigzag one. Both can accurately separate the data. Consider an attacker that tries to mislead our model by injecting adversarial perturbations. Under the zigzag decision boundary, a small perturbation is sufficient to flip the prediction. The length of the perturbation is A. Under the smooth decision boundary, it needs a larger perturbation B to flip the prediction. A is less than B, so it's usually the case that a smoother decision boundary is more robust against adversarial perturbations, and the robust decision boundary is what we want for transfer learning. The benefit of smoothness depends on the data distributions. On the left-hand side, we see the source domain and target domain have similar distributions, and the smooth decision boundary works well for both, whereas the zigzag one is vulnerable to small distributional shift. On the right-hand side, the source and target have very different distributions. In this case, it is not clear whether the smoothness has any benefit at all. Recall that the prompt has very few parameters, but we want to use prompt to control a very large model. If we don't have enough capacity to produce a smooth decision boundary everywhere, we must focus on the cases when the source and target domain distributions are similar. Now we introduce our solution, Optima, which is named after boosting prompt tuning with domain adaptation. Optima works by alternating two optimization steps during training. On the first step, it generates adversarial perturbations data, which changes model's predictions. During this process, it introduces an additional constraint, which requires data to make the source domain data to be similar to the target domain data. On the second step, it trains the soft prompt to be robust against the perturbations. The advantages of Optima are twofold. First, under robust training, it produces soft prompt that can encourage a smooth decision boundary. Second, the low capacity of soft prompt makes it difficult to optimize for both domain discrimination loss and task classification loss. Therefore, we let the perturbations optimize for domain invariance 
and the soft prompt to optimize for task classification loss. This training strategy can improve training stability. Mathematically, we use XS and XT to represent source domain data and target domain data. We train a domain discriminator to distinguish target domain data from source domain data and its perturbed samples by minimizing the cross entropy loss over them. We generate perturbations which maximize both the KL divergence loss and the domain discrimination loss on the source domain. The KL divergence loss is computed between the perturbed and original source domain data. By maximizing KL divergence, we obtain the perturbations that can mislead the model to make inconsistent predictions. Meanwhile, by maximizing the domain discrimination loss on the source domain, the perturbations try to deceive the domain discriminator so that the perturbed loop data look like the target domain data. After getting the desired perturbations, we use them to perform adversarial training on soft prompt by minimizing the task classification loss as well as the KL divergence on the source domain. We evaluate our approach on two tasks, paraphrase detection and natural language inference, covering six data sets for eight cross-domain benchmarks. We use the language modeling adapted T5 large as the pre-trained language model. For zero-shot evaluation, we ran three random seeds. Each run is evaluated on 16 randomly sampled eight-shot data sets for few-shot evaluation. We compare with nine baselines from four categories. Target domain only methods use only target domain few short training set without any transfer learning. Frozen PLM applies the pre-trained T5 model directly on the target domain. Prompt tuning prepends prompt embeddings to the input and only tunes the prompt on the target domain few short set without changing the T5 model. Fine-tuning tunes the entire pre-trained T5 model on the target domain future set, and prompt-based fine-tuning tunes both the entire T5 model and the soft prompt. Source domain pre-training methods use a source domain dataset to pre-train the soft prompt and transfer to the target domain. Pre-trained prompt tuning uses a universal text corpora to pre-train the soft prompt and transfer the one-size-fits-all soft prompt to the target domain. Soft prompt transfer applies the soft prompt pre-trained on a task-related source domain to the target domain. Perturbation-based methods apply adversarial training during pre-training on a related source domain dataset and transfer to the target domain. FreeLB is an adversarial training approach for text embeddings, and BAT is our implementation of the original BAT method for text embeddings. Domain adaptation use unlabeled data from target domain in addition to the labeled source domain datasets. DANN is the most popular baseline in this category. Here are our few short experimental results. The first group are the results of single domain few short performance. The second group are the results of transfer learning based few short performance. Obviously, the second group outperforms the first group, showing that a proper initialization of soft prompt is necessary for few short learning. For each comparison between Optima and a given baseline method, we perform a student t test to validate the significance of the improvement. On all but the SIG dataset, the differences between Optima and all baseline methods are statistically significant. Optima outperforms spot and perturbation-based methods, implying the advantage of domain adaptation during pre-training. Notably, VAT is an ablation of Optima, and their comparison shows that introducing a domain classifier to intervene the perturbations to achieve targeted smoothness is helpful. The popular unsupervised domain adaptation approach, DANN, performs much worse than all perturbation-based methods showing that soft prompt cannot handle loss competition under domain adversarial training. We suspect the poor performance is partially due to the limited capacity of soft prompt. We also compared methods that require a source domain dataset by observing their in-domain generalization performance on the source domain and zero-shot performance on the target domain. 
Optima still takes the highest spot on the cross-domain benchmarks. Free LB sometimes can achieve better in-dimensionalization, but does not achieve consistent improvement on target domain datasets. This shows the importance of reducing the domain gap as done by Optima. We conclude our presentation with the following takeaway messages. Prompt tuning has much practical benefit in model deployment, but it requires a lot of labeled training data. We are the first to explore the use of unlabeled target domain data to improve the sample efficiency of prompt tuning. We propose a new technique, Optima, that caters to the low capacity of soft prompt. It achieves superior results on low resource settings. More discussions and studies on the effectiveness of Optima can be found in the paper. For any other questions, you can contact me through the email. You can also access our code and paper using the QR code beside. Thank you for listening.